Hey everyone, Skull902 here along with Coco Chat. Hello. Uh, and today, uh, we're, we're gonna continue something we started, uh, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago uh, with, uh, with Sonic 1. We're racing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, I realize I didn't, uh, I didn't start on this screen. Whatever. Uh, so, uh... Oh, this time I'm a lot more humbled than last time. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, the, the Sonic 1 race, uh, ended, uh, a, a little unexpectedly. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're here, uh, you know, uh, looking to have fun with another one of these. Uh, Happy Easter, uh, to those that celebrate. Happy uh, Easter. Uh, and a happy Sunday to those who don't. Um, so, uh, Wah, uh, Swift, hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, wow. And, yeah, uh, what we're going to be doing here is a Tails run. Uh, just so that, uh, y you know, uh, we're, we're... We don't at, like, spam Super Sonic yeah, for the entire game. N no Super Spamming. It's, it's just going to be all, uh, you know, default moveset and, and, and everything. Uh, Spidey, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're, uh, we're gonna handle the Chaos Emeralds just as we see fit. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, hi Gamer Boy, welcome to the stream. Uh, and thank you for the happy Easter. Uh, so that's, uh, that's basically our, our rule set here. Tails run, we get the Emeralds as we see fit. Uh, Yancy is, uh, recording his perspective, um, and, uh, I I'll have a link to that, uh, once this is all over in, uh, the description and, uh, pinned comment. Uh, so, yeah. Hi, Crest, welcome to the stream. Uh, Yancy, uh, when you're ready. Uh, we are on the Tales Alone player select thing from the multiplayer options. That is where we start the race. I'm just explaining that to the viewers real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, uh, so let's start this shindig in three... On go. Two, one, go. Alright. Lindsay and Jake, hello. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Try not to be a speed demon, I'm just taking my nice time. I'll have plenty of time to catch up later. Oh shit. Don't let nerves get to me like Sonic 1. I'm also playing on a good controller. Hey, there you go. Uh, Emerald Hill 1 is done. I, uh... I, I said oh shit because uh, I... Oh, I you're trying to do the thing with the invincibility box? Yeah, oh yeah, I totally did that. Uh, what, now uh, that's a game remove. Yeah, what I, uh, what I oh shitted about was, uh, that I meant to, um, uh, wait until, uh, uh, I'd gotten, uh, you know, past 30 seconds before crossing the, uh... Oh yeah, to make sure that you don't get the time bonus. Yeah. Which is a very cursed thing to say unless you're speedrunning these games. Yeah. I don't want to be good at the game. Hi, Aurora. Welcome to the stream. I had to kill some time because I got hit. Collecting rings. I'm in special stage one right now. I'm about I mean, to I've be. I mean, I've been in it. I'm about to be. I'm about to be getting my first emerald, but I just went in there. Hill zone. That thank you for painful. the. Thank you for the uh, good luck message there, Wa. Alright, first emerald gotten. God damn. Just entering phase two. Special stage number one. My strategy here is that I'm gonna try to take it uh, one per zone. Yeah, one per zone. Uh 
God help me on special stage number four. That one always seems to fuck See, me up. See, four was always easy. Five is the hard one to me. Five is the hardest one, but uh, for whatever reason, four is the one that I fuck up on the most. Good. Be careful with the little projectiles when you're getting 50 rings in these levels. I kind of learned that the hard way. Uh. It's a little bit more visible in the remake, but the original game kind of fucked on those projectiles. Special Sage 2 coming up. I'm sorry to hear about your friend's cat there, uh, uh, Crest. Oh. That's sad. Indeed. My condolences to the, to the poor feline friend. Alright. Boss time. Still an act one, by the way. Come on, Tails. Alright. Capsule's broken. It feels like they made Tails in this game without having the flight specifically for this purpose. It's like, I'm actually happy to not have flights. That way it'll be a fair race. And we have to interact with the level design. Yeah, you know, they were probably, like, pressed for time. Uh, no, yeah, you know. but I like to think it's for that one specific reason. That people that want they want to race Sonic or Tails. That could also be a part of it. I don't know. I mean, they, I know uh... multiplayer they took out fine for a reason, but oh yeah. Hi, Mephilus. Welcome. Got the second emerald, by the way. Just about to beat Chemical Plant One. There we go. Mephilus says, Ayabu boots, alcohol. That's a very interesting mm -hmm. message. Go home, you're drunk. In case anybody's just joining, we're allowed to get uh, emeralds however we see fit. Yes. At least I didn't get hit by the coconuts. Why do I keep falling off the platform right there? Oh dear. Unless it's input, it might be input lag. About to do another gamer move. Oh, you're about to do the the thing on the slope where you like skip the entire water yep. section. I can actually do that without spin dashing now. Like you just go on the spring and you go on the first incline, and you can, and you'll get it every time, every mm. single time you'll get it. Uh, hi Leo, welcome to the stream. On special stage three, by the way. I'm on number two. Here is just to stay perfectly in the center. Oh uh, yep, we'll uh, we'll see that uh, from from my end once uh, once it's time to get to Emerald Three. I remember except for the little sucker punch at the end, but yeah, 
I remember being fucking floored when I learned that. I was like, yeah, wow, no, it really is a, just it's me like standing. The special stage. Yeah. Section number two, all you just gotta do is just go in a straight line in the middle. Whoa, the graphics. Hello. It's a good thing I practiced the original version of these stages again, like the pre render backgrounds, because I'm so, I was spoiled by the 3D of the remake. Emerald 3 gotten. About to finish Act 1 also. Very Emerald nice. Hill. Luckily oh. for you, I don't have to get the time bonus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Booyah. Oh, you time it by seconds? Uh, I was timing, uh, I was timing it by hits. Chemical Plants beaten. Oh, okay, I thought you were talking about the special stage. Nah. Because I time it by seconds in my head. Nah, uh, like, I just do that to make sure that I'm not gonna fall, like, through the platform at the very end. I don't want to tempt fate. Yeah, that was something I was uh, saying to myself uh, in uh, in practice. Uh, Crest was asking uh, to Kuko, would you want to uh, race sometime next Friday on the 12th? I'll be busy Friday, unfortunately. All right, so I'm always available Sunday and Monday. I'll always be available on those days. I was actually very surprised for uh, my strategy in Aquatic Ruin Act 2, uh, although it's very much not coming to fruition right now. Oh, god damn it. Here we go, special stage 4. This one can be tricky, but it's 5 and 6 that always fuck me up. Drowned. Oh, you drowned? Yep. All right, let's try that again. Damn it. Okay, here we go. All right, not quite as much as I would have wanted, but... Okay, this All is right, fine. All right, hardest part of the stage over. Whew! Fuck! God damn it. Oh, you messed it up. Yeah, uh, got like a bunch of arrows there, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do some ring hunting. Looks like. Well. Yo, he's got a bit of a head start. Yeah. Because I decided to hang back and, you know, not take my chances in later zones and just getting the emeralds now while they're easy to get. Fourth emerald gotten. Four, goddamn. Uh, you only need uh, three more. Fuck, it'll just be faster okay. to not get an emerald here now. Yeah, you don't gotta stay on, you know, a thing. It's not like Sonic 1 where you got, like, only so many chances to yeah. get an emerald. So I'll have to, like, get an extra one in Mystic Cave or something. Yeah. And Fortress has a lot of good spots to do it. Wing Fortress, uh, I, at least in my opinion, is at not the place where I want to get an emerald. See, as a child, I was always able to get, like, supersonic by Wing Fortress. Like, when I was, like, six or seven, mind you. It would take me, like, an entire game's worth to get all the emeralds, but... You know, I'd get, like, five, six, and seven in Wing Fortress, like, back-to-back -back as a child. Alright, special stage five. We meet again, my nemesis. That's where they start putting them on the ceiling. God damn it. 
bottom path of Casino Night Act 1 is definitely not where I wanted to go. It's a very slow path. See, I consider these stages a lot more... I don't want to say... F yeah, I'd say fun. Than, like, Sonic 1. Sonic 1's it feels like it's kind of RNG half the time. Here, it always feels like when I mess up, it's my fault. Like, I could have been playing more careful, or I should have been grabbing more rings when I failed these. It always feels fair. Uh... Can't say I've shared the same opinion. Uh... Oh yeah, the half pipe is pretty cool. I like the half pipe. The music, the the atmosphere, the graphics. I mean, it's not Blue Sphere, but I, I like it. I like it more than one in CD special stages. Come on, Tails, you fucking asshole. All right, fifth emerald gotten. I'm an emerald zone. I'm an emerald zone act two. Yeah, definitely emerald hill zone act two. So I gotta get two more special stages, and then I can just blaze this game. guys real quick oh man all right casino dude, night I act just... one done dude i'm the slickest motherfucker alive i just dodged that coconuts coconut by like two pixels on my fucking hair oh oh man i'm a bad motherfucker never had that clip happen to me before All right, special stage six. Ooh. Okay. Focus time. I kind of just pretend like I'm not playing on live stream. Like I kind of just like my practice run was me pretending I was on live stream doing this, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. Because this is my first time like playing a game like live on stream. Oh man. Well, this is my second time now, but. Got the rings I need. Make sure you don't get smacked, surprised motherfucker out of nowhere. Crest was asking what times were best for you. Uh, Sunday, uh, like Sunday, like afternoon or all any part of the day on Monday. Cause that's when I'm off, like Sunday and Monday are pretty good. Alright, special stage number three. Remember, they will never smack you with a spike unless it's special stage seven. On a corner. Or at least if they put rings there, they're kind of hinting, it's like, hey, stay on this side, you're good. Yeah. That's, That's uh, always what I think. That's all what always makes these special stages a lot more manageable for me, was that I always just assume, you know, because Sonic 2 is a good game that's made by good people. Unlike Sonic 1. Alright, this is what Yancy was talking about earlier, just stay in the middle. Yeah, just stay calm, keep a cool head. Or jump yeah. when you need to. Yeah, jump when you need to. It's very telegraphed. At the very end of that section, they try to smack you, they try to, like, surprise you with a little, like, a full ring of bombs. Just jump over that. Yeah. And you'll be good. I mean, what am I doing? You're a fucking Sonic 2 Master, you're good. You'll be fine. I wouldn't say that. I, uh, completely fucked up my strategy in, the uh, uh, Aquatic Ruin there. Oh, you're a Sonic 2 improvis improvisational master. You're good. <laughs> well, I appreciate the show of support. Trust me, there's nothing worse than being in a race and the other person not being able to finish out their run. Alright, Emerald 3 gotten. Oh, that's good. 
Spidey Sonic Sonic I think Jack this game is pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sonic 2 is... Sonic 2 is at least in my top 5. I'd put it in my top 5. Like, 3 and Knuckles I love more. But I think Sonic 2 is a pretty swell game. I keep forgetting those three rings are there right before the boss, so I didn't have to backtrack at all. Oh well. Like, I'm, on, like I'm one of those people that's like, I know like a lot of... Like a lot of like younger fans that I know are like, oh, Sonic 2 so overrated. I'm like, no, well, this thing put Sonic 2 on the map, or put Sonic on the map. Sonic 2 did. So I think the first, I think like truly great game in the series that I think lived up to like the character's potential, and Three Knuckles expanded upon such a thing. Special State 7, by the way. Ooh -wee. Ooh ah, zing zing, wada wada bing bing. All right. See, and seven to me is like a victory lap. Yeah, like seven, seven unless the price to sucker punch you. Yeah, seven. Uh, seven's actually surprisingly easy considering it's the last one. Hi, KJ. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Crest says three and knuckles be the best. Uh, yeah, three and knuckles is the god. Certainly, my opinion uh, of the of the classic Sonics. All right, hilltop zone. So right. I've I've built up something of the lead here. Well, for now. For now, We don't yes. know how. We don't know how. Shit. I practice my speed game in Hilltop, though. Don't worry. Oh, shit. I got... That's like the first time I got hit by a bomb in a long time. Okay. Oh man. 169, 190. This is when they just start throwing rings at you. Yeah, no, I, I failed Special Stage 7. Oh, really? Goddamn. Yeah, no, I got sideswiped by accident. Yeah, I missed five rings. Yeah. I oh, get it. shit. It'll be fine. I'll go... I'll get it in Chemical Point Act 2. If I don't get it in Chemical Point Act 2, I'll get it in... I have three chances in Aquatic Ruin Act 1. Let me just go get some rings real quick. Or a ring to go fight the boss. I just barely made it out uh, with a chance to get special stage 4 at the end of uh, Act 1. I, I was so close to... Oh yeah, the thing at the ramp right there. I, I was so close to just fucking losing my rings. Uh, had to count on iframes to carry me through there. Oh my god. This I this one's my demon here, explore. special stage four. Good For whatever luck reason, to you. I, I I fuck it up uh, a lot. Are you one of those people Shit. that also likes to stand on the uh, capsules? Like teeter on them, it's tradition. Uh I like to do that. I just kinda go with the flow on them to be honest. Alright, chemical plan act one, finally new scenery. Uh, yep. <laughs> Guess oh, yep. Oh, it's so nice up. to be able to... Oh, special stage four. Uh, yep. Oh my it's god. It's very different when you race under pressure. I, I didn't fuck it up, actually. I, I just hit the threshold. Oh. You got the emerald, or are you still in the stage? Uh, section three. Okay, section three. Alright, here we go. Oh, I fucked up. The, the whoop-de-whoop. I mean, I didn't get hit or anything. I'm in Act 1, so it's fine. I'm not getting a special stage here. Aw, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Aw. Oh. Two rings off. I can't believe that. I mean, I got five rings off in seven. Now that's a cock block. Two rings, though. Now that's a big cock. You got blue balls after that. Finished Act 1, gotta continue as well. 
and two extra lives. That's good. Life is good. You know what? I'm gonna go back and get those three rings. Act two now. Special stage is rigged. Eh, I wouldn't say so. No, they. it's not so much that they're rigged. You just gotta kinda really get used to them. Oh, I got the optimal tube set up for Chemical Plant. Fixing a head up to the checkpoint to get seven. I just Ooh, did all seven in Emerald Hill just for the sake of, like, insurance. To make sure I didn't, you know, cock it up. Alright, checkpoint activated. Gives you far more chances than, uh... Oh, get the... God damn it, get the rings. Okay. I think I messed up Special Stage 7 again. Oh? A new lease on life? Perhaps. Yeah, I messed it up. I, I, I thought about the pattern from Section 2. Uh, well, I have to go to Aquatic Ruin. I'm on 4 well, either that or unless I get... Either that or unless I get Chemical Plant. Act 2 is like, secret checkpoint. Fuck. Okay, that could have been a little better. As long as I don't get hit on this section again. First try! There we go, I skipped the water. I'm gonna play it safe right here, I'm gonna let these platforms fall. Intersection of the level, yeah. Okay, I'm in much right, better standing at this point than I was last time. Ooh, I almost fell. There we go. Chemical point done. Special stage four complete. Oh, that's good. All right, off to Aquatic Rune I go. I'm the only one who finds the Sonic 2 Emerald stage is my least favorite. Uh, out of the like main I... classics, uh, me, uh, I uh, <laughs> I can agree with that sentiment. Uh, I'd still tell you they're probably my second favorite because of one in CD. Eh, I always liked. Uh, I always liked mazes. See, you liked it because you got because you didn't get fucked over by them in the race last time. Yeah, I just used iframes on the on the end of uh, hilltop there. Just, just collect a ring, it's fine. All right, hilltop done. All right, back to special stage seven. All right, let's focus. Probably not the optimal way in the Mystic Cave to be going the top path. Uh, 
checkpoint is in the top route of Mystic Cave, I do know that. Yeah, but uh, that's what I was about to say, is like, it's it's for the purpose of uh, Chaos Emerald collecting, so like, probably would have gone bottom path otherwise, but need to do what I need to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, invincibility. That's uh, that's good. I like that. Oh yeah, the place has a bunch of invincibility monitors. All right, number five. Uh, yes, KJ, that did indeed happen in 1992. were right in the middle of their uh, their big old big old three peak. Alright, yeah. I should be fine now. Section one of uh, special stage five fucks me up the most on it, so Oh, oh I got it! I just barely did it. Oh nice. No, I got really scared. I had exactly 190 rings. I have no 97. Ooh, that oh, was man. scary. Those last bombs were... Yeah, that's kind of when they do this whole smacking thing. Yeah. Uh... Graphics switch on the emulator. Huh. <laughs> Same thing happened to me earlier. Uh, hi, yeah, Georgia, by the way. The yeah, apparently the screen doesn't like to be emulated that much. Like, that has all the chaos and molds one. Alright, I can just start speeding. Get ready, Skull, I'm coming. Okay. Hey, luckily for you, this route had me already on the top path. I'm not touching the water. All right, act one done. Special stage five, gotcha. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I'm at Mystic Cave now. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm at Death Egg now. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, I've already done. I'm already going through Sonic Three Knuckles. I'm already. I'm. I'm so far. I'm in Hydro City. Jesus Christ. Uh. Thanks for popping in, Georgia. In fact, I've started doing CD for fun. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to go fast. I got... I got conked by the... Grounder trap with the red spring. I haven't had that happen to me in a long time. Oh, Dude, damn. Stop, stop going backwards. Oh man, I I definitely benefited there. Uh, all right, Act Two. I'm definitely going on the bottom path. Yeah, that's the safe route. All right, at the boss. Ooh wee. Ooh ah. Ping ping. Wada wada bing bing. And I messed up the quick kill. But it's fine. Got like 10 chances. Man, he's giving. Dude! Hit the hammer! And send something I can actually reach. Avoid the death pit. Good, good, good. Yeah, the Mystic Cave ship pit. <laughs> ship pit, indeed. Alright. Aquatic Ruin done. Oh my god. What? Already? Yeah, Aquatic Ruin's fast. Stay on the top path, you're good. Oh, uh, you know what, that is true. Yeah, I think you went on the bottom path, didn't you? Um, to go get rings? Yeah, but you had to go get rings because all the rings are on the bottom. If yeah, you like around, I, 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 trying uh, to get all the quick points. I tried bottom path act two, yeah. Whew, bottom path act two is a funny path with a lot of good collision detection. It sure is. Uh, Alright, going to number six. I'm taking it a little risky here, because uh, I lose my shield, don't yeah, I? You're... 
Yeah, you lose your shield, you lose all your rings too. Oh, yeah. It wasn't until the Knuckles and Sonic 2 thing where they were like, oh hey, you can keep at least all your rings, I think. I think you also keep your shield. I know in the remake it's like you keep whatever you had going into the special stage. Yeah, so, Which uh, is really nice. Oh dear. I yeah, knocked myself into some bombs. That wouldn't have been good. I'm almost done with Act 1 of Casino Night. Well, I guess I'm gambling now. Oh, I got a lot of rings. Got 68 rings, almost the funny number. Yeah, I got really knocked around on uh, Casino Night. It wasn't so pleasant. Pong ping. All right. All right. Let's skip the little section. That's good. I thought I almost got the glitch where I'd be stuck in the in the ball form. Have you ever had that happen to you, where, you know, you go into, like, one of those things where they, like, where you build up the pressure? Um... Where, like, the ball gets sent out, and, like, you get stuck in the ball, and, like, the game has to, like, momentum, like, force you. Oh, yeah, to, like, yeah, keep yeah, moving. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's happened to me a couple of times throughout the years. Alright, number six gotten. Oh, that's good. I'm in Act 2, by the way. Oh, yep, no shield. Oh, boy. I've also decided on the next Let's Play. Alright. After I'm done with the bands. Fuck! Oh, you got hit? Yep. Or you died? Trying to do the, uh, hit him a couple times and then spin dash strategy. Oh, I got a really good bumper right there. Fuck. Can you hear me doing the spin dashes yep. with the button? Can we hit the checkpoint? Dude, I almost did a screen wrap. God fucking damn it. How are speedrunners able to do this? They just do it. But mind you, I also played Sonic 2 like every day of my life for like a good like good year, year and a half. Where I just sit down and I beat Sonic 2, either all emeralds or just a run through the okay. game. Alright, Casino Night done. Noticing that the, the spikes there were uh, RNG. Yeah, this run's kind of going exactly how I thought it would. As in, I'd start catching up because I'm about to head to Hilltop. Yeah, and I'm... I think you're still in Mystic Cave, aren't you? I just entered Oil Ocean. Oh wow, so we're, I'm catching up. I know how to do a screen. Well, I'm not gonna do the screen. Man. I'm not trying to use too many glitches. My biggest fear here is gonna be the seahorses. Yeah, the Aquarius bad nicks are. They're assholes. Well, we, I mean, yeah, no, one asshole. But uh, at least for me, I don't have to worry about it. Do you think the seahorses never gave me as much issue? It's just they, they follow you so relentlessly is, uh, is my uh, big them. Mostly their projectile. I always get fucked over by their projectile. Yeah, I almost skipped a special stage. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Let me hit the invincibility here. Yeah, if so I can get this one before uh, Metropolis Zone, I uh, I really should. Seems like you're kind of having what my problems were in the last run. <laughs> All right, a little bit. The last checkpoint. Did you know that Mushroom Hill Act One and Generations 
rip the whole uh, stage from S3 and K. But they kept all the original checkpoint placements. There's oh no yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's just a completely <laughs> yeah. There's a completely like useless one uh, at the end of uh, yeah, right before the mini boss. Yeah, and there's no mini boss. Did you know there's actually an auto scroller, like a second auto scroller in Act Two? If you take the top path. Uh, I don't think so. Bizarre thing. I, I only found out about that like last year or so. Three, four, five. Go. Uh, hi, Sonic Boom. Uh, all right. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I'm on Act Two. Almost forgot to. Uh, I'm in the last section here of. Uh... I always like to get those two springs in the middle of a forest. Who puts those there? Springs in the okay. Forest. You got all of them. I'm I'm at the last section of rings. I I've guaranteed myself uh, Emerald Seven here. Yep. That's good. Now it's all about who gets a good Metropolis and who gets a good Wing Fortress. Uh, Sonic Boom. It's a it's a little uh, uh, hard to like concentrate on chat. Uh, I, I I will say that that uh, that comment was a funny haha. Uh, very funny. Funny guy. Okay, I didn't get the soft rock at Hilltop that you told me about earlier that I was so scared of. God, it was so weird. I've never had it happen to me in, like, normal gameplay before. I got ten lives. How many lives do you got? Eight. Eight? At least yep. I win the live game. Uh, well, it, it would be uh, eleven if I uh, hadn't died those three times. I'm in Mr. Cave Act 1. Oh boy, I got some, uh... Catching up! I got some speeding to do, although I, I did just collect uh, the 7th Chaos Emerald, so I too should be able to... just run through here. Okay, I got my rings here, I don't want to die, okay. Some damage boost right here. Don't need the invincibility. Oh shit. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm literally right at the end of the act. Okay. I haven't been crushed by one of those things in a long time. You know those weird, like, rock things? Oh, the the ones that like jut up. Did you just get crushed by it? I I didn't even realize you could get crushed by it. Oh yeah, uh, I've uh, I've suffered that unfortunate fate before. I guess I was just a little too slow because I usually I was like, oh, these just don't crush you. It's like the most ineffective crushers. Fuck! 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 No, you you just got to be really deep in there. Okay, I'll go through this one. No, what are you doing? Tails, wait for me. Okay, guess I'm going this way. Dude, this is the sequel to his Adventure 1 campaign. He has to race himself. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's like no checkpoints outside of that one at the top right of Act 1. Because when I got crushed, I had to start the whole act over. Yeah, damn. I'm traversing uh, fairly very unfamiliar, uh, very unfamiliar territory. Oh, you're <clears> in a <throat> pathway of oil ocean that you don't normally take. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with Act 1. Time for Act 2, and then I'll be in the same zone as you for a little bit. And Tails just kind of refused to uh, uh, to take the uh, one path, uh, so, like... 
Yeah, Oil Ocean's kind of a glitchy zone. <laughs> Great music, though. See, and I really like Oil Ocean. I know some people are like, Sonic 2 is good up until Oil Ocean. To me, I think Sonic 2 is good through Oil Ocean. And I don't even mind Metropolis anymore, really, truly. I think Sonic 2 <laughs> does kind of fall off in the second half, but, uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, Winter, welcome to the stream. Uh... You, you've missed, uh, like, most of the game, but, uh, you know, that's, uh... Like, a little over half, but to be fair, though, I mean, it depends on if Skull's gonna be doing the daring tactics with Death Egg Robot. Two, three, four... Okay, I got number five, that's good. Uh, I just oh, you're gotta, on a boss. Just gotta wait for this thing. Oh, that fucking Firefly piece of shit. I'll be back. He fucking, he fucking, like, last frame of him, uh, I got hit. Alright, Oil Ocean, uh, sorry, Oil Ocean boss beaten. About to beat the Mr. Cave Act 2 boss. Gotcha, gotcha. KJ says we were also talking about Michael Jordan. Yeah, uh, in, in the chat they are talking a little bit about uh, the NBA, as it were. Oh boy, Metropolis Zone. You're going to be there for a while. Be careful of that one slicer after a bumper section. Oh yeah, 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 that one. You know that one. Yeah, that asshole one. What a that... prick. Alright, on to Holy Ocean. I don't mind Wing Fortress. I think Wing Fortress is a pretty fun zone. Time to just absolutely destroy our ocean. Fuck. Alright, just keep going, just keep going. Oh, I got bad RNG on the lids. Dude, why are the fucking lids? I've never had, like, double O lids. You know, the, the, the good thing about this is that since, uh, since there is no super form with Tails, uh, I, uh, I do not, uh, mind as no, much about- No, if this about... was Super Sonic, I would've probably been done the game by now. <laughs> Likely. If you would've had the same Emerald Lock, yeah, I, I would be probably well ahead by now. Which, thank God, because that'd be a very boring race. Uh, what I was gonna say is that, uh, like, thankfully I don't have to, uh, like, be so, uh, upsetty spaghetti if I get hit, and I can just be like, alright, yeah. damage boost. Yeah, damage boost, spin dash. Exactly. When in doubt, you damage boost and you spin dash through everything. Nice skip. Okay. Dude, oh. I'm, I'm again the slickest motherfucker alive. What's with me and just narrowly dodging projectiles? Like, I dodged that seahorse. Oh man! Like, dude, I, I I'm so slick in this game. I forgot how nice with it I am. Act one, Metropolis done. That's good. I'm about to be done with Act one of Oil Ocean. Ah, uh, them's the breaks. Skull 902. You know it, Georgia. Okay. All right, there we go. I did a nice little skip to get into the barrel early. Or the cannon. I don't. It's like a barrel cannon. I don't know. It's like Donkey Kong. No through the floor strats for me. But I guess yeah. I do get this shield. I'm not gonna do it either. Uh, I tried, uh, admittedly. Uh. Alright, done with Act 1, moving on to Act 2. I got crazy good RNG on my last practice run with the Oil Ocean boss. Let's get a little insurance here. Okay.
Luckily for you, I can actually finish out the run. You know, it's not like Sonic 1 where it just tells you to go fuck yourself if you can't get it by Labyrinth Act 2. Yeah. Fuck you, Slicer. Fuck you, also Slicer. Fuck you, third yeah. Slicer. <laughs> yeah, no, they just start spamming it. Oh, uh, well, he, 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 he got three me, but I... not so bad back, he was like the hard act. I had a shield, though. It's fine. Shit. Come on. There we go. There we go. Jesus Christ, that was close. Alright, is this the one? No, not really, but whatever. Don't have time for you and your shenanigans. Have you ever listened to the parental floss like Sonic? Like rap? Uh, no. Every time I hear Oil Ocean, it's I just wanna eat chewy dogs. Is that too much to act? Smoke a bong and squeeze down a log. Oh my. I think that's just very funny. My brother showed that to me <laughs> a little while, uh, uh, years ago. Not a little while, but years ago. On to Act 3. Alright, on the boss. All I can hope is that you have bad RNG on the Wing Fortress boss. Or that you die in Wing Fortress and I can... Alright! Oil Ocean done, moving on to Metropolis. Ah, oh, Tails, come on. Tails are the rings that give you some more. Fuck! Alright, Metropolis, here we go. Beginner's trap right here. God damn it! Oh, well, at least I recovered that ring. Really? I gotta go even further back? I honestly have more hate in my heart for the Astrons these days than Are even the Slicers. Like, kidding. I still hate the Like, I still hate these fucking Slicers, but I hate the Astrons. I'm Got hitting the ash rounds a lot. What the fuck? This nut is not... This nut! <laughs> that's... I mean, that's what it is. I know, I know what you're talking It's, it's not... I call it a screw. I always just call it a... This nut. Come into the hood and fuck with these nuts. <laughs> my name is a Gary motherfucking oak. Oh my god. It took so long to spawn back where it fucking should have. At least we don't have a, a second person with our character to fuck up the Astrons. So that's nice. Oh, you gotta go do the respawning thing with the nut? With yeah, the I, screw? I had to do it like eight times. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's very fortunate for me, though. Indeed. Got revenge on that slicer. Alright, there's a shield in here. God damn it. Oh, I didn't have to go as far back for this one. Why the hell didn't the other one spawn? Uh, God damn it. I think, I wonder if they maybe intentionally did it. Like, just to make the players mad. Right, time to go down this one little section right here. Honestly, I like Metropolis, except for the enemy placement. I like everything else, though. Uh, I mean, it's got, like, a good aesthetic, uh... But the music's jamming. Oh, <laughs> avoided that slicer. Yeah, it always you always feel like the baddest motherfucker in the world when you dodge a slicer in this game. That one in particular, though. Well, at least you don't have to charge up the homing attack. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, no, at least, at least they don't have to do that. Okay. Alright, I'm... Coming up to the end of Act 1 right here. Just about to the boss. Dodged him. 
Yep, done Where our back one. Moving on to Act 2. Uh, see you later, Georgia. Hope that you have a good day. See you later. Would it be funny if I just left? If I said see you <laughs> later. Well. Okay, Got now three. I'm about... Uh, nope. Guess not. Oh, yeah! Got through that first section of Act 2 like a slick motherfucker, except I got hit by the shell cracker. Bye, Slicer. Bye, Slicer. Okay, Tails. Okay, Tails. Okay. <laughs> That's probably what Sonic's saying. It's like, okay, Tails. Alright, got, got hit, but like... it didn't fuck me up. Like, too much, anyway. No, are you fucking kidding? <sighs> How did I not get hit by the Astron there? Did you die to the boss? I didn't die to the boss. And every time oh, I keep I thinking that I'm like too. creeping up to the boss, I'm Dead. actually not. Yeah, uh, it, I just have to do this level. really long screw section again. Got really good act two here. Like a really saucy act two. Oh my god, I nearly fucked that up again. I have zero rings with a slicer coming up, uh, so... Just gonna take just this very carefully. Oh, he despawned. Thank god. Yeah, I, don't, I like it when he despawns and he doesn't... Okay, now I am about onto the boss. <laughs> uh, cope counter's higher than that, uh... <laughs> Uh, Cold Winter. Alright, whatever. Alright, got a good Act 2. I'm about to be done with Act 2, I think. I'm coming up on the end right here. Fuck. Trying to do the boss the fast way. Yeah, don't try to be too fancy. And my timing was off. Eight lives left. I have ten. <sighs> I'm having an alright Metropolis. Alright, Act 2 done. On to Act 3. Alright. I think you getting the, the... the... the nut. You know. I think that's probably what got me to catch up a little bit. Um, both times, yes. Oh, you, oh yeah. Dying yeah, on the boss, uh... Also doesn't help, certainly. Uh... Fucking shit. Alright, got top path of Act 3. Did you get top path on Act 3? Like, the the start of Act 3? Uh, I did. Okay, so you got the good spin dash jump. I, I think I did, like, a normal jump over there. Uh... I always like to do a spin dash jump. Because it always guarantees you and you can skip over, like, in a, the entire, like, platforming section with the piston. How do I keep fucking missing that? And the ring went through the floor too, so I gotta do this the normal way. Metropolis? Yeah. Oh, you're stuck. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm suffering stuck. against the boss. Are you fucking... Now you know my frustrations during Sonic 1. I'm gonna wait for the little piston to come back down. Hold on. There we go. That stopped me a little bit. I always wanted to make like a Sonic 2 like sprite ROM hack where the slicer laughs at you. <laughs> Fuck, I got killed by that goddamn slicer. Alright. Going back for some, going back for a ring. You killed the boss? Just now. Uh finally got the the good strategy. Uh like I got hit a couple times, but whatever. I really hate that particular slicer. Like all the other slicers I'm not a big fan of. 
but I really hate that particular slicer. Uh, also, Sonic Boom, uh, we're we're like racing and uh, concentrating on the game uh, a lot. So uh, if if we miss a message, then uh, then well, we'll go back. Know, uh, uh, apologies. Uh, okay, we got that slicer. I fucking got that motherfucker. You know they they call uh, they call uh, Sky Chase here I call... a, a breather level. Uh, yeah, and, an auto scroller, uh, which it is. It, yeah, it's not that. Yeah, hard. it really is. Just catch my yeah, breath your here. palms are all sweaty. Are you scared yet? I'm almost at Metropolis Zone Act Three. You, oh, I actually am. I'm almost at the boss. Uh, well, you, you, you know. Scared yet? Get scared. You want to do some of those riskier tactics? Well, uh, I'm I'm certainly not no, gonna joking. try I'm spin dashing in here. Uh, you know that uh, th that's a bad idea. No, I'm joking. No, don't. Fuck. No, take your time. What do whatever you gotta do to close out the run. Okay. Yeah. I am gonna do something uh, a bit risky business in uh, Wing Fortresses, but uh, it's honestly at this point what I have to do. It's what I was planning to do. Uh, uh, I, time, I know the but... skip, but I'm gonna do it too. Not something I usually do, but. Oh, the one with the propeller. Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. I do that just. Uh, I thought, th as a child, I thought that was the only way you beat the level. Oh, I'm not gonna spin dash it. <laughs> do you want me to die, guys? No, don't spin dash. Don't, don't tempt God. All right, at Act Three, I think. Yep, I'm Act. I'm not Act Three. I'm at uh, the boss. Why do I keep saying Act Three? I, we say Act Three so much. Well, I mean, if you want to get technical. Because I'm about to be at Sky Chase. Alright, I'm about to beat Sky Chase. And it's off to Wing Fortress. I love hmm. the Sonic 2 boss theme. My big problem is going to be, uh, I think, getting the momentum to actually jump up Fuck, here. I died to the boss. Oh. Good news for me. Yeah, good news for you. Fuck. Just wait until Wing Fortress is boss, though. That's when you got to start being a bit more precarious. Come on, Tails. Let me up here. Oh, my God. Tails, come on. An asshole. There we go. Alright, so this propeller, jump over here, beat the cluckers. The mother cluckers. Indeed, okay. Just let your little projectile go. I was thinking I could spin dash jump over him. But I'm thinking of the probably the remaster. I think allows you to do that because I think they fucked with the hit detection on the boss a little bit. But a normal jump will work out pretty much all the time. Okay. Uh, and it fucking killed me right after. Uh, okay. Well, I got the checkpoint. Are you at the top part of Wing Fortress? Uh, I just I just did the the fast platforms. All right, Metropolis done. Moving on to Sky Chase. On my way to the boss. Good luck on that boss. That boss is probably the hardest. Yeah, boss no, this game. this boss is a motherfucker, actually. Weird hit detection, spike plat. Remember, they bought it back in 3K and it just kills itself. Alright, not gonna get too fancy. Let me collect rings, goddamn. Okay, I'm just gonna kinda chill in the back here. <sighs> oh, come on.
Ooh, damage boost did a hit. Very nice. There you go. Yeah, that boss is notoriously hard to oh, get a damage boost. First on. try. Oh, you got it. I, I am gonna and go will... for the the secret extra life though, just because insurance. Yeah, that's always a good idea. Hey, Cal, welcome to the stream. Do you know the strat for Silver Sonic? Yep. Okay, good. Because I remember there was some guy, I, I was thinking it was maybe you, but there was a guy I met that never understood the strat for Silver Sonic and was like, man, this boss is so hard. And I'm like, you just spin dash under him. When he comes in, you get like five hits off on him. Spin dash under him, count to four, spin dash over to the other corner, jump over him. See, I count to five for him. Uh, that's cutting it a bit close for me. Well, I do it like right on the pixel. I win Nice of you to very slowly come by. Are you on Silver Sonic? Uh, I'm on the rocket. Oh yeah, you're letting the cutscene play out. Longest cutscene in the universe. Well, I mean, you can't skip it. Yeah, you can't skip it. That's what I mean, longest cutscene in the universe. And, okay. One last auto scroller as the middle finger from the developers. One, two, three, four. Fuck. I always thought the turtle badniks were very cute. At least when they're not like, killing it's like you. A, it's like a little turtle, like riding on another little turtle. One, two, three, four. I was like a frame too early. God damn it. Alright, Wing Fortress time. Time to get back in the game of the, the swing of things. Alright. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Okay, there we go. All right, get the propeller. Up, oh, didn't even get hit that time. Onto the Death Egg Robot. All right, at the top of Wing Fortress. Great music, by the way. I love, I love Sonic 2's OST. I love Wing Fortress. I love the final battle theme. The, the everything, the everything about this game is like really good. Game beaten. Game beaten? Yep. Uh, I'm on Wing Fortress, I'm about halfway through the stage I would say. Or a little over halfway. Oh my god. <laughs> Spidey says, Scolorino, be careful. Never mind. Never mind. Sonic Boom says, oh, you got it. Yep. Winter says, Skull. Yes, Winter? Skull. Just says Skull. Just says the name. Important news? What, what's that? I, I love this little bit here too because like the the comic panels don't show up. Uh, they didn't edit any yeah, panels, so like just, you yeah, just get your Windows easy. 95 screensaver over here of him falling for like a minute. At Wing Fortress's boss. This was a very close race, actually. Yeah, no, I I felt the. I'm pressure. a lot more pleased. I'm not. I'm not as like I don't feel as bad about losing this one as I did the last one because I'm actually able to finish out my run. Really felt the pressure there. What are the slicers? Uh, they're the, the badniks. The praying mantis and... badniks. Yeah, they're the the praying mantis badniks and. Uh... Someone's gonna ask what's a badnik. <laughs> Working the night shift right, tonight on the try. medic truck. Got a really got a really good wing fortress. Uh, well, winter. Uh, I I don't know why you'd hope for uh, an emergency. Uh. Do you want me to screen share with you? So you can see? Uh, Discord? Just a sec. Uh, try Star Animations, hello. Welcome. Skull to borrow a quote from a legendary Pixar movie. You got a lot of stuff. Yeah, he's got the lot. Yeah, that kid's got a lot of stuff. Oh, he's older than me. What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> uh, trying to remember what, what movie is that quote from? Uh, I think Cars? Oh, yeah, that, that's why I didn't yeah, recognize he, it. 
when he gave up the race, yeah. That's why I didn't recognize it. Oh, good, I loved it. This cutscene is pretty cool, though. Like, you going into the Death Egg. Yeah. The Mantis didn't even know they were called that. I just called them the Mantises. Well... No, yeah. every Batnik has a name. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. It's slightly different with Tails. I think uh, in in the North American manuals, they, they only forgot to name, like, one Badnik, and I forget where it was, and, and, like, which one. I think it's one of them from the first game. Oh, killed Silver Sonic. I mean that we Final are doing ball. work, and we're doing enjoyable work. Well, I, I'm glad that you can enjoy your work. Uh, just hope nothing too crazy happens. I'm gonna do kind of the safer strat. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna shoot out the fist. getting a bit worried there on Silver Sonic. I, I kept mistiming it and I was like, oh god. No, you were, no, you were gonna beat him. I was still in Sky Chase at that time. You'd be surprised. Uh, uh, like, when I'm on stream, uh, like, that particular part of Death Egg is, uh, it, and it's only when I'm streaming, for whatever reason, uh, but that particular part of Death Egg uh, has actually gotten me quite a few times. See, Silver Sonic never given me issues, at least not since I was a child. Uh, it was mostly the Death Egg robot that always give me issues. Yeah. All right. Uh, back to title. Uh, we've finished the credits. I'm going to check my Discord here real quick. There we go. I always like to jump when he shoots at the fist. It doesn't do anything, but... Yeah, you can, like, fuck with the behavior a little bit. Fuck! Uh -oh. The fucking... I got stuck inside the Death Egg robot. Oh, man, I hate when that happens. I haven't had that happen to me in, like, eight years. Uh, All right. okay, do you, do you want me to, like... No, no, I'm still going. Uh, or, well, Fuck, you, you, you offered the screen it. share, so what I'm wondering is if... Oh, uh... yeah, let me do that, yeah. Here, let me... Let me open up Discord real quick. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna see the end of uh of Yancey's run here, so uh... it's probably gonna be laggy. It's gonna be real. It's gonna be like Sonic to the slideshow, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's loading. Uh, oh, I can hear it. All right, uh, let's pop out that window. Uh, window capture. There we go. Uh. Just fit that to screen. I don't know why it's presenting oh God, in wide screen. Even more but... lag. Okay, I think it's stabilized again. Yeah. All right. I was probably like fucking two more hits away from him too. Ah uh, man. Can never get through the Sonic Two boss like that. I can with Sonic One and Sonic Three. It it takes some learning. Sonic 2's final boss, to me, it's probably how, like, most people feel about, like, the Superstars final boss. That's kind of like the Death Egg robot of, I guess, that generation. Is that it's just, you've got to just know the attack pattern. This one, at least, like, you know what you're getting into, you know, you, you get... You yeah, get you know what ring. you're doing. You you have you have zero rings, uh, and uh, it just it just generally doesn't take as long for uh, one hit to go into the next one. Yeah, for Eggman to fucking finish his attack pattern.
Yeah, this is how I like to fight the boss right here. Take it the careful way. Yeah, the careful way. And I only really risk one hit as he's about to fly up. I haven't died to the Death Egg robot. Fucking years. Because I always just did this strat. I've never gotten stuck inside him in... since I probably found out about the strat. And unless maybe I hit him too early, maybe? That's a problem I consistently have uh, with uh, Knuckles. If I try to, like, because you can only hit him when he when he dips down. Yeah, when he's down, yeah. So if you jump into him, uh, there's a, a good risk that, uh, that you'll just go through him. So uh, I've since discovered the spin dash strategy uh, with uh, dealing with him as Knuckles. And uh, that's uh, that one's far more consistent. All right, there we go. how long this final boss can be. There we go, game beaten. Yay, there we go. I like spin dashed into that. Tails. Oh yeah, oh, you, the explosions you, you did the, follow you. You did the thing. Yeah, I did the thing where the explosions follow you. Well, there he Ooh. is. There he is, he's fallen. GG, Yancey. Yeah, that was a good race. That was fairly close, actually. Mm-hmm. So not even learning, I just can't do it? You gotta, you gotta try, my dude. You gotta... But you gotta believe in yourself. When you say yeah. you can't do it, when... you won't do it. You just gotta have a look at where his hands are uh, in time you're jumping to that. Dude, I'm, like, motivating this person while Dreams Come True is playing in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is, like, very beautiful. Skull, how do you pronounce uh, Hydro City? Uh, I, I pronounce it Hydro City. That's the correct way. That's the intended way. And I will yeah, hear Hydro nothing City. more of it. That is how we. That is how the Japanese produce pronounce it. Hydro City. Didn't they reuse this pose for three? Not not no. the three and K. I'm talking about base three. No, yeah, no, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Yeah, because it was like Tails like looking behind him. Yeah, he he jumps up and looks behind him. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a Sonic two ROM hack. <laughs> Spidey says Skull W counter one. It's Hydro City. Yeah. Well, there correct. you go, Spidey. I guess you guys will get to watch the credits roll a second time. Yeah. See, Sonic 2 is a good game made by good people. Uh, Unlike you know, Sonic 1, uh... which is a bad game made by bad people. <laughs> I don't have a problem with Sonic 1, but... Uh, or, or, well, I mean, there is problems with it. But, no, uh... I have no... No, I'm talking about it from, like, the race. I'm, I'm joking about oh. it. I actually quite like Sonic 1. Okay, I, I see what you're doing. Even though there's some dickheaded design decisions in 1. That I'm not crazy about, but I'm like, well, it's the first game. I'm gonna be nice. Get off your platform, Skull. I mean, come on. Get off your. He. I mean, he is a platform. He, he stands on a platform. That require him to like stand on air. Still find it great how Sonic and Tails had an argument about how to pronounce it in the IDW comics. Yeah, that's pretty great. One, one of the now, many, me, uh... I was always. I think there's an in joke that it's like Water Place, my favorite Sonic 3 Knuckles level. Sky, Sky, Sky Place. Sky Place. Hot Place. Cold Place. Uh, probably here in a minute or so, I'm going to quit recording on OBS. I'll just do a little outro real quick. Um, so for anybody that's watching on my end, um, this was the Sonic 2 race. It was a very close race. Um, went a lot better than the Sonic 1 race. Didn't completely fucking shit the bed. Had a good controller this time. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed routing it out and I enjoyed having fun with it. Um, I guess we'll see you guys for Sonic 3, I guess. Uh, 
that'll at be some an point. Race. At some point, uh, I think probably someone in chat said they wanted to race with me. I'm so used to seeing the Death Egg like show up there, like falling into Angel Island in the remake. It's so oh, weird yeah. that it's like a black screen again. But that was Sonic 2, the race edition. Uh, thank you, Skull, for doing this with me, and uh, good night and take care. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is... All right, we finished recording. Cool, cool. This is uh, this is something I've wanted to do for uh, some time now, so, uh, you know, uh, it's cool to be able to... The pleasure's uh, always viewers. <laughs> cool to be able to uh, to do this with... Uh, uh with uh here. with a friend uh all right uh well and no when i was saying bye i was saying bye in the video i wasn't saying bye to you guys yeah we're we're still here yet. on uh, on on my end uh uh for for a little bit uh yeah let me actually start getting ready to get this ready to be uploaded I didn't even notice the new blue screen. Oh yeah, uh, you know the the plain blue has served me well for uh, for some time, but uh, I, I I like the pattern in my uh, in my end yeah, screen. Yeah, I noticed and... you changed it. Yeah, you know I I felt that it could look a little visually better uh, than than the plain blue, so I took uh, I took um, the pattern from my end screen. I made the dark blue a little darker. Uh, which uh, which will be a permanent uh, thing across the channel. Uh, Looks good. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, made the dark blue a little darker so that like it's a little more noticeable. Uh, there's there's one video that'll have like the the old version of that pattern uh, since I you know I rendered it earlier this month. It's the teeny little my thoughts video that I've been uh, mentioning here and there. But uh, yeah, everything after that it's going to have this uh, slightly edited version of the. Uh, of the pattern uh, green eyes all over again <laughs> I, I certainly hope not it's, oh no Man, a slightly skull really went down no, well, after I got that slightly darker blue tint it, it, the, the slightly darker blue oh no how dare he make the the smoke pattern a little more noticeable uh okay <laughs> so uh it's supposed to be smoke uh, it's like a cloudy sort of uh, deal. Uh, the the I, I I did this from uh, noise textures in uh, in Vegas, and uh, I forget if I double layered it or single layered it, but it, uh, the the texture is called clouds, I think, something like that. So Winter says, uh, "Quick, Kuko Chad, run! Skull's going to do his I want in your face dance." I wouldn't do anything like no, that. No, I don't. No, because we're both full grown ass men. <laughs> Good game. No, I just, I just, no, I just wanted to have a reason to play Sonic Two, and to do it fast, and to shoot the shit while doing it. Yeah. Scully about to do the get shit on kid moment. No. No, no, no. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see here. Feed skull nine oh two. Nine oh two. Make sure I got all this right. This video is not for kids. We fuck a lot, so it's fine. Shay! Shay's in here! Shay says... Hey! Shay says, boo! Uh, hey. And then uh, wanted to pop in and say hello and happy boo. Easter to y'all. Uh... Thank you, Shay. Thank you very much. I hope that uh, you've been having a good day as well. Let's see here. Uh. 
right? It's uploading. Oh shit. Then I'll do this description after we do that. How's your Easter been, by the way? Uh, well, I've only been up for a little bit, so. Uh, oh it, yeah, it's, that's right. It's literally been just this. Yeah, it's it's really just been. I woke up and then did this stream. Uh. And then went back to bed. I don't know. Maybe. Um. Uh, Winter says I got to go to work. Well, uh, good luck at your work. Uh, and uh, see ya. Uh. See you whenever you uh, show up again, uh, if you decide to do so. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Yeah, have a nice day. Good luck at work. Uh, that's got to suck to work on Easter. How's uh? Because I know you've been up uh like a little uh, a little earlier, and in, in fact, not even a little, just a a, a fair bit earlier. Uh, Yancy, how's 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 your day been? Yeah, it's been nice. I mean, I was mostly just kind of messing around on frontiers for getting uh working on a hundred percent. I've gotten the boost gauge all fully um filled up, like extended oh yeah I, saw, um, uh... I have all of chronos done i have um working on arenos i'm doing kind of first fifth and third and fourth or third and second kind of like as i'm like i'm eating it like a sandwich right <laughs> so i'm doing the easiest island then the hardest island and then yeah, two middle ones Yeah, and that uh, it's because an Rhea, thing, right? I don't count Raya because Raya is just automatically completed. All you got to do is, I think, get some music notes. I think. Yeah, and uh, they they did stick some collectibles in there after uh, after the update. So like, if you want your music playlist to be complete, then uh, then you do. Yeah, and honestly, I'll I'd... do that after. Yeah, I, I'd say it's it's worth it because uh, the, like those music notes that yeah, they put on cool that island, uh, like there's there's parts of because you know in the story you're only doing the towers right, but like they they put yeah, way you see the yeah you see the ruins yeah, yeah you, they put way more on that island than uh, than I thought uh, and I was like oh shit you know when I was uh, on stream collecting the music notes. I was like, oh man. Oh they, yeah, yeah. There's they, like they, whole sections of the island that you don't see if they really you, thought unless you're like more curious at launch. Yeah, it was clear that that was meant to be part of like the other two islands. Mm hmm. Like that Rhea, Kronos, and Arenas were supposed to be one island at one point. Like it was very clear. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay and Jake says, uh, my Easter is going well. I'm watching Passion of the Christ today. Oh, oh goodness. Uh, uh also it's a very intense thing to watch i i hope that there aren't children present uh, uh also skull can i have a shout out from big happy easter i hope that it's going well hey what's this violent movie going on oh dear oh oh no oh my well happy easter I'm sorry. That's <laughs> uh, no, alright. Sonic Boom says, a "Hot take: Metropolis Zone is my favorite classic Sonic go uh, blah, Zone and gets too much hate." Hmm. I mean, you're wrong. I mean, I wouldn't put it as my least favorite either. I'd probably tell you, like Marble and Labyrinth, I think are worse. Because at least Metropolis, I can. You can you can get speed in that. Uh, you know. Like I can I can play it right, uh, but like I don't know. You just saw in the playthrough, like there, there's some stuff that they do in there that uh, I'm just not a fan of. 
you know? I don't know. I feel like if the physical level design of a zone is, is solid enough, I'm willing to forgive, like, shitty enemy placement yeah. and some dickheadery. Shay here says... Like, the actual, like... Oh, go on. Like, the actual level layout, I mean. The, the level layout is, is fine enough, but, like, the, the you know, the, the enemies kind of ruin it. Yeah, the things in it kind of fuck with it a little bit. Uh, Shay here oh, says... What are you saying? I'm sorry. We should get a special Happy Easter shout-out from Mr. Henry. <laughs> well, did did you know that uh, on on the third day, uh, Jesus, uh, he he couldn't be found in his tomb, uh, and that's why we have Easter. So happy Easter for Mister Henry. I don't know who Mister Henry is. Uh, I think I, I've heard the voice before, but nobody's ever explained like who Mister Henry is to me. I uh, think I've asked once. So like when nobody ever answered. When uh, uh, like Shay's a part of a, a friend circle with like Trip and and all that. Trip uh, uh, Trip grew up on a lot of Christian uh, <laughs> uh, children's entertainment, uh, and there's a show. Oh. Oh, uh, God, I forget what it's called exactly, but it's like the wacky world of Mr. Henry or some shit like that. Uh, and he's like this, uh, like, bumbling inventor guy uh, with, like, uh, a bunch of animatronics around and, and stuff. And he, like, you know, tells stories about the Bible and, uh, you know, uh, equates the, the lesson from those Bible stories into, like, the theme of the show. So there's, like episodes on like obeying and forgiveness and you know stuff of the sort uh but like he he does he does this voice for the character and he, he sounds like he's straining his throat so bad uh every time you know he talks about god uh and and all that oh he sounds like he's constipated like he's like, <laughs> like that and uh sounds like he, he's, he's just grabbing the sides of the toilet bowl he's just shitting everywhere he, he's like like just holding on for dear life while you're crying and you're biting your lips so hard you're bleeding at your lips you just you know your snot's coming out of your nostrils i'd equate it more to like a crow but uh it, sure if that's uh, <laughs> uh of course uh shay and i's favorite character uh oh it's called mr henry's wild and wacky world okay uh, Shay and I's favorite character uh, is uh, one one of the animatronics that he has around in uh, uh, his garage or wherever the show takes place. Uh, it's this, uh, you, you know how uh, uh, hunters will like, you know, uh, sometimes they'll display like the heads of their game on on like the wall or whatever. They talk to them, don't they? It, it, it's like a talking moose head. Her name is Miss Harriet and she sounds like a Southern Belle. That's right. That's gotta be. The, the lesson of Mr. Henry's story is to obey God's word. Apple pie. Apple pie. Uh, I mean, was it God's word that she got shot and <laughs> fucking turned into a mount? The worst day of my life was when Mr. Henry shot me in the vagina. Ooh. <laughs> and then he mounted my head to the wall and implanted a microchip into my brain, giving me human intelligence and the ability to speak. I didn't ask for this, Mr. Henry. <laughs> He's like, you shut your mouth, or else it's back in the closet you go. Oh man, I I wouldn't want to uh I wouldn't want to move that head. Uh, fucking um, some of the other ones is like this uh, uh this uh, suit of knight armor, and he he talks uh in a, a very gentlemanly uh sort of uh, oh very much like a very yeah. pleasant uh British accent you know very it, it, very pleasant. Uh, he's he's not he's not so whispery like that. He he sounds like an intelligent gentleman, you know. Just like the the oh the a bit more of... out here, a bit more boisterous, a bit more. Uh, no, he, like he's that. he's like calm, but but you know he's he's sort of like this. The lesson of Mister Henry's story. Oh, like a butler. 
Uh, yeah, I suppose a bit like that. Uh, he's got, he, he's got like a, a fish puppet. And he's got like a Brooklyn accent. You know, well, like a generally New York kind of kind of deal going on. Uh, and then, uh, and then the last one is, uh, like this toy fish with a hook through his mouth. Uh, he's wearing a beret and of course speaks in a French accent. Oh, he's like, oh, 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 motherfucker. Yeah, pretty like much. That. Yeah. It says motherfucker all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just all oh, these motherfuckers. <laughs> also iceberg, uh, posted that Starlight was one of his or her least favorite zones. Oh, uh, it's very funny. That's uh. I should report you. I could report you in the chat right now for saying that. That's a disagreeable take, Crest. Uh, no, I'm but, joking. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, you're you're free to hear your opinion, but uh, the uh, Starlight's my favorite zone from Sonic One. <laughs> uh, Spring Yard's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, What's your favorite zone from Three and K? I don't think I've ever asked. Uh, God, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I mean, they're all good except for maybe Sandopolis, but even then, I still like Sandopolis quite a bit. Gosh, I just uh, think it goes on a bit too long. The the introduction stages usually aren't my favorite, so I'd I'd rule out Angel Island. You know, it's 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 good. It, you know, it serves its purpose. Uh, great hide- story. It tells a yeah. great story. Uh, Hydro City is pretty good. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Marble Garden. Like, it's not bad. Uh, just, like, it goes on a bit long. Uh, and, uh, un- unless if you have Supersonic, uh, or any of the super characters, the... Oh, wait. The the boss with Knuckles? Love it. Uh, but, uh, the, the, like, the yeah, regular... The regular Eggman boss? Mm, nah. Uh, you, you gotta have Supersonic or, or Super Tails for that one. Uh, gosh. Um... Carnival Knights, all right. Uh, Ice Cap is a, actually a pretty uh, good candidate. Uh, Launch Base is one of my favorites. It has one of my favorite songs in the game. Launch Base is another one that, like, you know, it, the original. It, you know, it, it's uh, it's not terrible. Uh, I I can deal with it. Um, Mushroom Hills also kind of like in Hill's that pretty all right. All right, space. Flying Battery is is pretty good. Great zone. I love Flying Battery. What a banger zone. Uh, fuck Sandopolis. Uh, uh, Lava, Lava Reef Sandopolis is pretty nice. Sandopolis is definitely the worst zone in the game, but I'd still would stay. I'd still play it over like half the stuff in one, like, even over Starlight. I, you know, I I can get through Sandopolis. Uh, you know, it's 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 not like Metropolis zone where like I kind of hate it, but like. Eh. Uh, you know. Now Lava Reef is a banger though because it immediately picks back up. Yeah, La- Lava Reef is pretty banger. Uh, uh, Hidden Palace is that like great. two hallways and a boss fight, so that doesn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, Sky Sanctuary is a great zone. It tells a great story. It's kind of like Angel Island, except is, it ramps up the difficulty and it's telling a story throughout the zone as like you're chasing down the death egg, like you're in the home stretch. And it's like you've been underground in these underground zones, so it's like very triumphant when you go from like the deepest part of the island to like the top of it. And, um, and like. Like the egg robos coming out, it gets me every time. Then Sky Sanctuary is pretty, uh, pretty fun. Uh, Death Egg is another one of those. It's like you know, it's it's good, but probably wouldn't be my favorite. Uh, and then uh, it's a great know, climax. Yeah, uh, Doomsday Zone. Uh, you know, just as like a boss only zone, I think uh, d- does like a, a really good job of like you know setting up the uh, the action and and everything. But again, like it's, it's not finicky. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's just it's just two boss fights, you know? So like, I, I kind of have to rule that out. So for me, it would probably be between hydro city and ice cap. If you put a gun to my head and make me answer, I'd probably say ice cap. I tell you lava reef. I'd either tell you lava reef or maybe flying battery. <laughs> lava reef. So we're diametrically opposed water or sorry, ice versus fire. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I like ice cap. I think, I, I'm going to say something crazy here. I mean, 3 k is like my favorite game ever. Like, I love that game to pieces. Uh, I think Ice Cap is overrated. And I actually oh. do not care for the Michael Jackson track for oh my the God. Jackson track oh. for it. I actually prefer the prototype music. Give me a heart attack, won't you? Uh... I mean, I, I mean, I like, I, I mean, of course, I love, uh, you know, uh, hard times. But it, it, I don't know. I feel like it. 
like I, the the two songs are going for two very different feelings. Like the prototype one's more of a winter wonderland, and then the Michael Jackson one is going for a um like more of like a frozen hellscape. You, you know, it's like very melancholic piano piece in Act Two. Out of um, out of all the Sonic and Knuckles collection tracks, uh, I I do like uh. uh... I, I I like the uh, the ice cap ones uh, the most. Uh, Kit, hi by the way. Um, it seems I came at the tail end of things. Yeah, we're we're just hanging out for a little bit. Uh, you know. Uh, Hot take. I haven't played Sonic. 3. That's not a take. That's just you not playing Sonic Three. Yeah. Um. The uh. I I will say though. Uh, See now, press. Crest is redeemed. She agree. He he or she agrees. Uh. They you know, agree. Uh, I I'm I might get uh, my ass kicked for uh, for saying this, but I actually kind of prefer the MIDI version of uh uh like all of them. Uh, to be honest, uh, compared it's not to terrible. like terrible. Compared to the Genesis versions, especially like the the Ice Cap music, I, I feel like the the MIDI actually uh. uh helps that one a little more most people would say the exact for me, carnival opposite. night carnival night and watch base has to be the original yamaha compositions though like i think carnival night is it sounds a bit too clownish in the midi format uh watch base is all right i generally am okay with the midi version of watch base but i if i had to listen to the prototype version of watch base eh, yeah i guess the midi version wouldn't be too bad i'd prefer the yamaha version but gotcha I, when i say yamaha i'm talking about the mega drive sound chip um the now i love the michael jackson watch bass theme now that is a banger uh yeah you know, when it goes go oh yeah for sure i i i do like them uh reusing uh clips from uh like the Genesis version of uh, of Moonwalker in the composition as well. Mm-hmm. Some of the woos, you know. Well, that was probably meant to be a reference. Oh no, the, the woos are I a little more prominent to... in uh, Knuckles' yeah, the... theme, actually. Yeah, in well, the mini boss theme, it doesn't appear in. So, like the Knuckles theme is like an isolated, like the drum beat at the end of the right, 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 right. Sonic Three standalone. Uh, yeah, which I think I, is cool. I, I it kind of reminds you that it's like Knuckles is around. I am thinking of the mini boss theme. Because it goes da 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 from from what I remember, it probably does depend like zone to zone. Uh, but um, uh, Rusty Ruins is great on the Saturn. Yeah, Rusty Ruin. Oh my God, dude! Like the the Saturn song. Ah, beautiful stuff. The main theme of Flicky's Island, like the Saturn version of the main theme, the do 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 do. Like it plays yeah, in generation. For, uh... again. It great. For uh, for, Great song. for those that that don't know, like uh, if you do say some of the some of the missions and generations, uh, I know like the the cream one in City Escape, for instance, has uh, has uh, that Knuckles. like that that's the song uh, that uh, that we're referring to, and yeah, I I love uh, the way that one sounds too. Is special stage theme that da, 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 with the trumpet starting and then it like it has oh, and oh like yeah. the piano it, it gets you going. It's it's got like a really uh. It's got like a really funky. Uh, uh, it starts song. out funky and then it gets like almost melancholic. Yeah, it's really good. Like it feels, like it's really good, like stupid good. Now I've I've never played them myself, uh, but I can just tell looking at the gameplay that it's easily the best variation on the half pipe special stages as well. Uh, here's a fun fact. We actually got the Saturn version of Flicky's Island after Sonic Adventure came out. Yeah, that's that's fucking wild. Uh, I, I remember and finding so that, that out. And classic in... Sonic design was like an in-between. 
It, I remember finding that out uh, actually at, at some point, and I was like, "Fucking really!" Like they they never got the uh, the Genesis slash yeah, Mega Drive version. Yeah, we didn't get the Mega Drive version. And then until Mega Collection. You know? Yeah, and and then randomly uh, they released it for the Saturn in two thousand in Japan, and it's like, yeah, like fucking what really? I mean, Saturn was being still being sold at the time, so that, yeah. that's why the Dreamcast kind of just died, was that Sega was trying to compete with the PS2, the N64, the PS1 as well, which still had market share, and they were still competing with themselves with the Saturn, because the Saturn was still being sold for some fucking reason. Well, the Saturn was just I mean, really... It was popular. Like, it was, yeah, it was just popular in Japan, so like, you know... Yeah, but it's like, if you put out a new console, stop selling the old one! Uh, well, I, I think that there should be... Or like make a, the Dreamcast backwards compatible, and it would be fine. I think there should be, like, a transitional period, you know? Uh, yeah, there when... should be, but that was two years after the Dreamcast was on market. Well, I mean, to be fair, uh, that's uh, that's kind of like a, a Japanese tradition of, of sorts in, uh, in uh, consoles. Like, for instance, the Famicom and the Super Famicom were yes, that continued until 2003. Quick. So, you know, yes, but they weren't actively being like they were still sold in stores, but you would have to ask for them in the back. I mean, still, though. like they weren't just being paraded around. The Saturn was still being paraded around by 2000. Like they were still were like, oh, hey, buy a Saturn. I mean, and still, like, though, like, the, you know, they were still manufacturing yeah, it. They were sense. still making new games for it, you know? Yeah. Uh, but it's like, so like you know, I, I, don't, it's, it, when it, you're worried about your company in a financial state, I'd probably be like, let's really focus on the Dreamcast. It, you know, it's like Nintendo at least was like, hey, you know, the Super Famicom, very huge. It's like we can we can afford to still keep selling the Famicom at a heavily reduced price as a budget console. What what I'm thinking is that like it just it made sense because it was still really popular over there. Though I will I will also say that uh, that uh, the Saturn being really popular uh, probably did. Uh, in fact, it certainly did uh, contribute to the Dreamcast uh, failure in Japan. Uh, and they did make it backwards compatible. They wanted to, but the Americans said. No, the Saturn was a flop. Let's just not have it be backwards compatible at all. There was actually an idea at one point that was being floated around that only the Japanese Dreamcast would be able to play Saturn games, but they're like, no, let's not do that. I, hmm, I haven't heard about that, but uh, uh, like it's it it's kind of it's kind of a, a similar situation, I think, to uh, how uh, the reaction to like say the Saturn was over here, uh, where it was like. You know, we, we've we've got this piece of hardware, and I'd say it's more so the reaction to, like, the Sega CD and 32X, to be honest. But, like, uh, you know, it's like, we got this thing, uh, you know, we, we didn't stop buying uh, Genesis games, uh, so why are you, like, you know, introducing all these expensive add-ons while you're also telling us that the next generation console is on the way, you know? Well, that was with the 32X. At least the Mega CD came out in 91. Like, the Mega Drive was still going strong at that point. If they, if they would have just made the Mega CD and just called it there and that that's the only peripheral that was, like, like meant to add powers and have, like, its own separate library games, I would have been fine with that. The 32 the Saturn was out in Japan when the 32X came out in America yeah. and in Japan. Yeah, Saturn was already like out. who? So, like, immediately doomed the 32X in Japan. Uh and in in America, it was just seen as like this stupid little stopgap uh, that made no sense to it. Yeah, it, I think I think the Saturn came out like a less than a month after. Uh, not less than a month, like 30, less than a year yeah. after like the 32X came out. 32X, uh, I believe the difference was about six months. Uh, so 32X, if yeah. I remember correctly, launched in uh, North America in November '94, uh, and. Uh, and then the Saturn did their surprise launch in uh, May of 95. Yeah, they wanted to surprise everyone at E3. Real fucking smart idea, guys. And uh, I forget whose decision that was. I, I, I definitely remember uh, Tom Kalinske, who was the president of Sega of America at, a time, or at the time, was uh, apparently flabbergasted that he was being told that, uh, yeah, that no, they he were was against do... it. Yeah, he, he, he did not want that to happen at all. And for good reason. Uh 
Yeah, the Saturn wasn't ready yet. There wasn't enough killer apps yet. Yeah, the, the Saturn, uh, the Saturn launched. Uh, Even in... if it launched without Sonic, if they would have just waited like an extra year or so, it would have been a lot better. Yeah, it was supposed to launch in September, so uh, like uh, developers were preparing for that date. Yeah, uh, you, you know, uh, to get their games ready for including September. Sega themselves. Yeah, and, and a lot of Sega studios were also you know preparing for September. So everyone was. They didn't tell anybody. It's it's so dumb. So everybody was looking at yeah, September. Yeah, they had to release versions of launch titles a few a year or two after the Saturn was already out to be like, oh hey, uh, here's the proper conversion from like Daytona or whatever it's, that so wasn't they... rushed in the launch. So like they uh, again, everyone was preparing for September, and then Sega was just like, hey, surprise, bitch, uh, you know. So hundred fucking... dollars more than the PS One. Oh, dude, uh, man. Uh, not that they knew at the time, but oh my god, that uh, that PlayStation. Yeah, they uh, should have just waited. They they. they just oh waited. my god, the 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 Sony uh, the Sony dude just coming up to uh, to the microphone and saying two ninety nine, and then just uh, wa- yeah walking off. One of one of the, the most crowd went wild. One of the most hardcore moments in in all of gaming, and then they did that twenty years later with uh, how to share games on the PS4, uh, but um. So yeah, it, again, it just it just doomed the That's Saturn right. in in North sad, America. Sad. So like they uh, they didn't tell retailers either, aside from like a couple. Uh, so uh, so you could barely find the thing, uh, and there were only two games for it. Well, a lot of retailers were pissed about it because yeah. they were preparing for September again, yeah. and they were just were like, oh yeah, uh, by the way, uh, sell this like. I don't know, like fucking three to six months early. It's like, what? And a lot of people were like, I think EB Games or whatever, or whatever the fuck you Americans have, refused to like sell the system at all. They were uh, like, we're not selling this until like a year later. The the only one that I can remember, the only one I can remember that uh, like they were so upset that they just refused to carry Sega from that point forward was uh, KB Toys. Uh, yeah, KB Toys. I was thinking, I was like, it's some EB game kb toy toy funko i've heard about yeah I'm but not like from north american like video game stores at launch i think it was only available at like walmart and toys r us uh so uh it had that problem it only had two games at launch it was a stupid fucking idea now in japan it went a, quite a bit better um they planned out the launch they had virtual fighter and virtual fighter was like competing with tekken in japan like, people bought a Saturn just to have an arcade perfect version of Virtual Fighter. Like, I'm not even shitting you. Like, that was literally, like, one of, like, three launch titles for it. Yeah, they, you know, just in a general sense, they really handled the Saturn better in, in Japan. Uh, you know, they had all those... Uh, it was actually those... competing with the PS1. Yeah, it, 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 from from what I know, it also uh, was outselling the N64. Uh, so like you know, yeah, the, it was about it was going to beat the PS1 if they would just would have stayed the course. You know, uh, it it really is a, a like a a good tale of how marketing can help or break something. You know, uh, how bad it could fuck something over. Yeah, for real. Uh, even even with the shitty launch, I I personally feel because like uh uh you know uh, uh international movies like uh you know say like uh kung fu action movies or uh like Godzilla for instance or like that that was really popular in America in the nineties. Uh, if they if they yeah. had adapted or just straight up dubbed the the uh, Segata Sanchiro commercials, I I think the Saturn would have been a little more popular. Oh, it would have definitely captured like the teenage audience because I'm sure there were probably a lot of weebs in the '90s. That's probably when the weeb culture really got going. So like, uh... like, this is weird. It's Japanese. If it would have just been, imagine a Saturn with no region lock. Period. It was like you can play games from Japan. Um, that would have you been... know, it, 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 like see the Saturn as the Japanese, as the weird Japanese console. I that, think it would have been pretty attractive to like teens and adults at the time that were into like anime and stuff because that stuff was starting to get popular back in the 90s over there. A region free system definitely would have been pretty revolutionary. Very back progressive then. for the time. Uh, which I suppose uh, like we did have that with the Game Boy, uh, but that's like a that's a bit of a different sort of handheld. Uh, you either had to remove tabs on the Super Nintendo or 
you had to get converters or you had to for n64s actually japanese n64 is a region free except for the power region uh yeah uh like there's just no like, tabs yeah when 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 you're when you're dealing with uh with pal yeah that's uh that's there's going to be some compatibility issues hi stitch welcome to the stream uh so yeah it, it's just a you know a bad launch uh, uh you know, they kind of fucked over retailers and developers. A comedy of errors, as I like to call it. Bad marketing. Uh, and uh, PlayStation just owned the shit out of them immediately with the, the launch price announcement. Uh, and they had one last chance with Sonic. And guess what? They couldn't get a fucking Sonic yeah, game they, out the they, door yeah. because of a series of misunderstandings. That's a whole other comedy of errors that yeah. we won't get into today. Mis misstepped with Sonic. Uh, so, you know, the, the just, uh, Saturn and, and, you know, uh, the, again, there, there's also a, a bevy of quality titles that were released in Japan that, uh, yeah. Sega of America just fucking re Force? refused to release because they were 2D. Uh, they didn't want to, they didn't want to fucking release Shinmu 2 on the Dreamcast initially. Y'all, you guys had to wait for the Xbox version of Shinmu yeah. 2 because, uh, well, the, in, in the, that the case, Sega like the, the, the first game didn't sell. And the Dreamcast was on its way out anyway. So I can kind of understand. I put it out anyways. I mean, if you're putting out Sonic Adventure 2, put out Shenmue. Even in limited quantities, I would be like, like oh, hey, even if it was mail order only, I would have put out Shenmue. I feel like Sonic Adventure, Adventure 2, though, was 2. like a safer bet. Well, yeah. that I mean, it sold really well, even on Dreamcast. Uh, hi, how y'all doing? It was, it was pretty all right, Stitch. Uh, We're just ranting could. about how fucking stupid Sega is. Sega's marketing in the uh, mid 1990s in uh, in North America and kind of sort of Europe as well. Uh, though it, it wasn't as bad over there. Uh, uh, you know, kind of kind of doomed them. Uh, uh, Stitch said, uh, "Had my first." It did okay with, in uh... South America, from what I saw. Oh yeah, dude, they love Sega oh. over there, man. They they still make new uh, uh, new Genesis hardware yeah, Mark and like threes. it. It, it they keep, still make Master System, yeah. It, it keeps, yeah, Master System and Jedi, they keep, it, it, they keep making it and it keeps selling. Like, it, that's amazing. They actually stopped for a little while there in the 2010s, actually stopped making Mega Drive hardware and we're just making Master System hardware. It's it's actually pretty nuts how uh, how they are. but uh, Master that, System has had the longest fucking lifespan. Yeah, if, if you really want to get, like, technical with it. um, So, uh... Yeah. Uh, uh, Stitch said, had my first mimosa. Uh, honestly, five out of ten. I haven't had one. Uh, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, South America makes Sega their money. Uh, well, you know, it's it's all like licensing and, uh, and, and whatnot. Well, but... Pachinko Machines in Japan is what really makes the big... Or at least for a while, it made Sega the big bucks when they weren't doing so well with the games side yeah, of things. That too. Um... And uh, reason reason for the the whole South America thing, or like it's it's more so specifically Brazil. Uh, uh, Brazil has this like weird tax that they that they do for like international Import tax, yeah yeah it's like uh, importing international uh, you know products. So uh, like uh, the NES and like other Nintendo consoles, uh, the Xbox and yeah, the PlayStation. Yeah, Nintendo was like the Sega there like they just had a hard time getting fucking traction and all, all of that like it's so fucking expensive to buy that uh like you know the, the average person just can't afford a nintendo system an xbox a playstation etc etc so uh and sega was able to swallow their pride enough and be like let's partner up with an actual brazilian company because that's how you get around it and yeah. actually manufacture the hardware give them the schematics to do such a thing yeah, so and be like, oh hey, we can sell it here for a reasonable price over there. Exactly. Sega uh, partnered up with uh, with Tech Toy, uh, Tech Toy, like, you know, a, a Brazilian company to manufacture in the country, so that like the systems were actually affordable, and that's how they uh, caught on. Yeah, it's really that was a smart idea. Kit here says, I would love to see Sonic Boom get a second chance, just a spin, uh, blah, 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 spin off series. I'm surprised fans haven't done a fan game for it yet. They gave 06 the love. What about Sonic Boom? 
like big red button got messed over uh big uh, sorry big time by sega uh like sad and really fascinating to see the behind the scenes stuff for sonic synergy the original name uh oh yeah, yeah they, it was just another comedy of errors like it, it was, was just you know, everything that went wrong that could have went wrong went wrong with that game yeah they uh they fucked up except big for time. maybe the voice acting they fucked up big time uh you know um like just make another Sonic game for the Wii U. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be fucking Sonic's. You could be another Mario and Sonic at the Olympics instead. Of, like you could have just had Lost World, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, and then another Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. Or I don't know, like fucking 2D game, a collection maybe. Just uh, like a quick dirty port of like SA1 and SA2, and just put that on the Wii U, and then just kind of let. Yeah. Sonic boom, fucking work on PC and PS4 or Xbox One. Yeah. It's like who who runs Sega then? I mean I know John Sega, of course, but <laughs> it's it's really unfortunate the way that that was handled. Um But yeah, it it really is too bad because the, the show was good. Uh but that's like the only thing that really was good. Uh yeah, it was alright. So yeah. I remember that Tech Toy made a Genesis port of Duke Nukem 3D. Oh yeah, they did. It was, yeah, it ran surprisingly well for what it was. Uh, you know, I have to, I have to look into that. Um, but guys, uh, we've just crossed uh, two hours, and I'm gonna have to uh, uh, cut the stream off. Yeah, he's got I, another I got... stream to attend to, I think. Like, uh, I don't have to attend to it, but I, I, I also don't want to uh, overrun uh, KN as she's doing her stream uh, later tonight. Uh. And uh, I, I got some stuff to tend to as well. So uh, thank you for yeah, uh, me too. thank you for coming in to uh, see the Sonic Two race. Uh, hope that uh, hope that it was uh, good Enjoy. and enjoyable. Yancy, uh, thank you for uh, for the opportunity to uh, to do this. Pleasure is all mine. Uh, and uh, it, the video will be up sometime tonight, I think. Yeah, uh, that's gonna and... be. It's going to be in the description and the pin comment to see uh, Yancy's perspective. Uh, and, and yes, yeah, I'll uh, give it to Skull and he'll. Yeah. Uh, Kel uh, and Kit. Uh, KN is doing Easter themed drawings of uh, of uh, people's uh, Sonic OCs today. Uh, so, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Um, that'll do it for this one. So, uh, until next time, guys, I've been Skull902. Uh, I've been Kuko. Thank you for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye. All right. Take care. Bye.